Hi students, coming to the next topic that is a time sharing system, an operating system. So, so this is one of the evolution of the operating system. So, what is a time sharing system? It is this time uh, sharing system is very similar to similar to multi programming batch system. So, whatever the what is that multi programming batch system? I explained in the previous video. So just go through the. So this time sharing system is just similar to multi programming batch system. Means all the programs can be executed simultaneously. So here the idle time will be reduced. The processor idle time will be reduced. And in fact, in fact, the time sharing system. or an extension of you can call this as an extension of multi programming system so it's just an extension of the means it is adding some more features to this multi programming system then it becomes a time sharing system so what it adding so it uh, it had the features like it can be used to handle multiple interactive jobs so the one thing is it has it has the ability to handle the multiple interactive jobs and here the processor time the processor time is shared among among multiple users so the only thing here is a uh, the difference here is the processor time is shared whatever the processor time is there for, for executing a jobs so the processor time is shared among multiple users so just see the difference between this time sharing and multi programming then you will understand what the feature that uh, added to this multi programming to make it as a time sharing system multi programming and time sharing system so let me explain what is this here main the principal objective so if you consider the principal objective what is this multi programming principal objective the main principal objective of multi programming is maximize the maximize the processor use so in multi programming uh, the processor use will be maximized we can use more uh, maximum size of the processor processor and whereas in time sharing the time sharing is just minimizes the response time so the response time will be minimized uh, in time sharing so that is the main principal objective of using the time sharing system so that means the ideal time will be reduced when compared to multi programming and next coming to the source of directive source of directives to operating system so what are the sources of directives to the operating system uh, for multi programming the source of directive to operating system or job control language job control language commands which provides provided with the job so whereas in time sharing system the source of directive to operating system is uh, commands entered at the terminals so this is a main difference between the multi programming uh, batch system and the time sharing system so let let me explain more clearly this time sharing system suppose if you are taken operating system so this operating system is executing a sequence of jobs job 1 job 2 job 3 job 4 so here these all jobs are present in the is occupying 0 to 512 kilobytes 
Here, the multiple jobs are executed by the CPU by switching so frequently. Okay, so here the jobs are switching uh, so frequently when compared to the multi programming. So, multiple jobs, so these are the multiple jobs. These multiple jobs are executed by the CPU by switching so frequently. Thus, the user can receive the main uh, aim of uh, time sharing is here. The user can receive an immediate response. Immediate response. Why it is the user receives the immediate response? Because the multiple jobs are executed so frequently. So frequently. So here the, it minimizes the response time. The CPU's uh, response time is minimizing with the help of time sharing system. With the help of time sharing system. Okay. So now let us see what are the advantages and disadvantages of using the time sharing system. Advantages. The first advantage of using time sharing system is it provide advantage of quick response. The first main thing is provide quick response and next it avoids duplication of software time sharing system avoids duplication of software and also it reduces the cpu ideal time because if the jobs are uh, executing frequently so it reduces cpu ideal time now coming to the disadvantages of using a time sharing system so what are the disadvantages problem of reliability problem of reliability and uh, questions of security arises question of security and integrity of user program and data and this name be the problem of data communication will be there in time sharing problem of data communication so this is about the time sharing operating system thank you